Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we'll get into our weekly update on the progress of the design of Richthofen. On the roadmap for this first week, we wanted to rough out the character experience table, maybe come up with some backstories for pilots, and create a pilot character sheet. So, here we go. Doesn't look like much. <laughs> Recruit, airman, veteran, ace. What I'm calling victory points might be called experience points. It's a placeholder for now. Thinking maybe you need a minimum number of kills as you progress. So obviously when you start out as a recruit, you just need to show up. The recruit level is your weakest level. You really don't want to be pushing your luck too much. You just kind of want to get up, play a few games, complete a few missions, Hopefully you get lucky enough where you can kind of get a feel for the game and and get 11 victory points. That could be two missions. It could be three missions. I didn't put any requirement that you had to get an air victory. I kind of want your career as a recruit to be about three missions, so this number might change. Then once you get to an airman, you get a little bit more survivability. If getting 11 is two to three missions and you get about 10 missions before you become a veteran you would get your five kills which would make you an ace uh, even though in the game you're not called an ace then I'm toying with the idea you don't get to a point where the game is just too easy right if you have got maximum hand size you're flying the best aircraft I've got to be able to build balance so I toyed with the idea of not even allowing you to get to the ace level there might be some people who want to play at that level. And also there's a bit of a formula here. 11, you know, 5x that roughly gets you to 55. 5x that's 250, okay? This will just evolve over playing the game. Then I get into some backstories. Now some of these I actually, from reading uh, some of the reference books that I have, for example, started World War I in the Calvary, Cavalry and transferred to the Air Force. And I'm using the term Air Force. That's probably not the correct term for the service uh, at the time. Um, and I'll go through and change that to be a little more period specific. Um, but for now, I just, in my notes, I put Air Force. Uh, but that's Richthofen, right? He was a cavalry officer. And I think he actually served in some action uh, in World War One as a cavalryman and then transferred to the to flying. I, I came up with 10. Some of them I just made up. Again, some of them I remember reading about. This will be an ongoing thing that uh, I'll build a table, you'll roll on. So at least now I've got a 10-sided dice roll to give you some background story. That kind of takes this right here. We can mark that. Mark that as progress and then create a pilot character sheet. Now, I'm only partially done with this. I had a pretty busy work week. Uh, but this is kind of what I <laughs> scribbled together. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot more to it, and I was playing around with textures in the background, but then did a little research on some of the types of medals that, at least for the German pilots, able to receive. And I want to say that Richthofen got awarded this Order of the Red Eagle, which is a pretty high award, uh, after his 70th kill. And I want to say the Blue Max was maybe around 40-ish. So we'll, uh, as I go through the game, we'll figure out what requirements there are for these two. Uh, and these are kind of uh, career medals. I don't think they got handed out for any one act of bravery or uh, accomplishments on the battlefield where the Iron Crosses did. So we'll come up with some requirements. Again, maybe you do a mission and knock out 15 um, victory points or experience points and you might get the Iron Cross of the first class. So we'll figure that out. There's a wound badge. So if you obviously get wounded, uh, you'll receive that. Now the pilot's badge was given to people who completed flight school which I guess technically would mean anybody, <laughs> any character you create would have one of these. 
So I'm actually going to award this after you complete your first combat mission. Or maybe when you become an airman and you're no longer a recruit and you can you know, complete your first three missions or something like that. Uh, it won't be historically accurate and so I'm fudging it a little for gameplay purposes. But that kind of gets us back here to at least the start of creating the pilot sheet. Okay, A lot more work to be done here obviously you can see what how this is useful because once I kind of started doing the character sheet I realized oh, I've got to do middles, um, a little more of a log, and it just kind of gets the brain going but at least so far the roadmap has, has helped. Uh, and, and again with, the, with this experience it doesn't look like much but there's quite a bit of thinking that came into these numbers uh, and they still have to be play tested in kind of how I want the game to work because I don't want you to be a, as a recruit for too long but I don't want it to be a one and done mission kind of thing that you just blow through it. Uh, I want there to be some tension w when you're going out and doing missions because you might might push your luck to get that one more experience point to to move you into airmen or do you get back home safely and live to uh, fly another mission and you know go back out and, and do it in three missions as opposed to two missions or four missions as opposed to three so I want this to have some player agency here and and maybe a decision with push your luck so that may be some early balance things that I'll put into to the missions um, to try to and that may just come naturally as well uh, but it's just a subtle thing but I'm hoping that your gaming experience uh, going from recruit that you know it's a little a little tense and you're you know there's some some worry of whether you're gonna survive or not without making it obvious that you won't or too easy that you know you will so that's the challenge on the design side is to put just a little bit of fear when you go up as a recruit anyway that's it for this week like I said I think we made some pretty good progress uh, all things considering like I said busy work week and we're gonna start working on these missions and also keep working on the things we have before um, obviously play testing the experience table adding some more backstory as I do more uh, research and keep fiddling with the character sheets and this will be an ongoing thing throughout this this whole roadmap uh, but I'll go back over my these missions and start kind of fleshing them out very similar to the mission sheets that I've already done but also with an eye towards sketch out a preliminary game map so this may actually start when it comes into the missions because I kind of want the missions overlaying on a map but I don't want to commit to doing a map until I kind of have some of the missions. So <laughs> chicken and egg kind of thing. Um, but we'll have some updates on those for next week. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you checking out what we're doing here with this design. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.